the world is going to look very different in five years time and in 10 years time because of what's happening in the battery industry today. So I'm, I'm Ian Campbell, and I'm the CEO and one of the co-founding team at Breathe Battery Technologies in London. I spent so much of my youth in motorsports in various forms, and I already found the capability of the battery fascinating. I found it fascinating when the batteries failed, and there's an awful lot of bright minds that are putting the hours in every day to make them better. But the frustrating reality, I think, for, for you, for me, for like my friends and my family as end users, the batteries are really not good enough. For the last half a century, the last century of batteries existing, they have been a piece of electrochemistry. They have been a black box that has been controlled in a very, let's say, outdated and simplistic manner. So what that's left on the table then is an awful lot of performance, an awful lot of room for enhancements with software-defined batteries as a field and with the kind of product portfolio that we start to develop with Breathe Charge, with Breathe Life. We are unlocking that. I'm Yan, uh, Yan Zhao. I'm CTO and one of three co-founders at Breathe. So this is where all the battery cell lives. Some we're testing to calibrate our software. More of them are being tested to test the durability of the cells and to prove out our software not only works when the battery is new, but it works out throughout the life. So they're simulating a whole 10 years of vehicle life or four years of a phone life inside these boxes 24-7. There's only very few things you can measure with battery physically, with sensors. You can measure voltage, temperature, and current. That's it. But you have to figure out how you control it at a highest level, what our technology do is essentially enabling devices and control strategies to see what's going on inside a battery. Volvo's a fantastic example today. Volvo are now adopting Breathe Charge, our fast charging product for their next generation electric car platform. And it's a wonderful example of the level of impact that our products can have. We're complementary to the chemistry improvements that are flowing through from cell manufacturers. We are able to almost overnight unlock up to 30% faster charging using only a piece of firmware and software that's installed on their existing battery management system. That is something that has traditionally not been achievable. This transition to a software-defined era for the development of batteries and also for the control and realization of the, the potential of the batteries, this is going to yield then a level of performance, a level of user experience that we've never seen before in the transport sense that are not spewing emissions and contributing to the kind of air pollution issues that we experience. And then in the consumer electronics sense, it is really to get away from this um, extremely painful environment of consumable devices and electronic waste and to make them long lasting, to make them durable by making the battery system better. That drives me every day. I'm, I'm just kind of visualizing what the road could look like if every bus is electric, how you would smell like, what the noise will feel like. It will be much quieter, no smell and clean it is at the very core of what drives me and it drives the entire team. 